Hey, this is Chandra with A God Said Disrupt Prophetic Word for October to aid us in helping Jesus save souls, y'all. This word will cover us as we receive from the Father. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for the word and for keeping us in compliance, but also giving us instruction and direction for this month. We received this prophetic word with teaching to know that it is how we can honor you by being obedient in this season. Lord, we thank you and lift up our praises to you. We worship you, Jesus. We give you all the glory and honor. Holy Spirit, have your way as I share this prophetic word um, that you would ignite in us a fire to do what you called us to do in the season so that we may glorify you, Abba. In your mighty name, Jesus, we pray and exalt you. Hallelujah, 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 and amen. Welcome to my newcomers. Thank you for being on uh, the channel today, and thank you for watching. And for my returners, thank you for um, com commenting, for subscribing, and for always supporting in the way that the Holy Spirit leads you to do so. And if you are new or if you are a subscriber, go ahead and hit the like button because we are trying to be obedient as we look at this month of October, as well as to receive all the blessings that the Lord has set before us in this word. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, for the word for the month, God said, rolling miracles changes everything. Rolling miracles. Rolling miracles change everything. God said on October the 1st, and so this word came to me around 1025 a.m. last lap. Your work in transformation and purification is done. This is your last lap. Finish strong. You are stand ready. You are stand ready. Expect me to show and not others. Hardened hearts will only raise sorrow if you lean on their contributing or showing up for you. Trust in me alone. Harvest in October. Rolling miracles changes everything. And so our scripture that we start with is Isaiah 40, 31. But they who wait upon the Lord will get new strength. Your strength will be renewed in the Lord. And we've heard it through a whole bunch of songs. And we know that our strength comes from the Lord. They will raise up like wings on eagles. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not become weak, says the Lord. Amen. And then Jeremiah 17, 5 says, the Lord says, cursed is the man who trusts in man and whose trust in the flesh for strength and whose heart turns away from the Lord. So when we lean on what people are doing or expecting that people will help us, we will end up in a failed situation. The Lord is saying for the month of October, it is his miracles and they are coming forth in a rolling progression. Hallelujah. A rolling progression. And so on the first, the Lord said a rolling change is coming a rolling change is coming hallelujah and so this word came to me around 8 51 and when god said that he says a change is coming a chain a rolling change is coming and 8 51 in hebrews means sense of obedience to remove to cut off to take away god said feasting in famine so as we feast in famine and as we look at what's coming down the pipeline god said you must prepare foods as shared previously it is time no time to waste none at all god said now you must renew your stock you must build your stock now god said renew perishables extend dry goods label the date first in first out avoid waste and this isn't you waiting until january 2025 but this is the lord saying that the that this famine that is coming it will last through january 2026 the lord is saying prepare your food your dry pantry foods that have expiration dates um, set not until 2026 so you need to put them in dry containers to keep them dry and secured um, you want to understand your food package dates your sold by dates your best by use dates your freeze by dates because each one means something different i recently saw a news broadcast here in the dallas metroplex actually on the first is when they started announcing it and i'll try to find the link so you can i can send it to you guys or have it available for you you to watch but in this they gave an education of what the dates that are stamped on foods actually mean some of them don't even pertain to us as a consumer but many of them um, set us off into an alarm to make us over purchase and over buy and the Lord is saying in this season he wants you to buy just enough not too much you want to be where you can share your resources but you don't want to be in a place of hoarding because then that becomes a a foothold for the devil to introduce sin a, a a repercussion for you sinning and hoarding is a sin the lord says that we don't 
needs a hoard because that takes away his ability to provide for us. So we want to make sure that we have just enough and you want to pray for your household as to what that looks like and to what quantities for per person that you want to start p preparing for in foods and in medical supplies and things as we did for COVID because we have heard more than one prophetic word come across that the next um, round of um, weaponry uh, that is coming is down the pipeline is a form of a sickness that is great far greater than what COVID brought to us but we are not to be fearful or afraid so this isn't to send you into a tailspin or a panic this is say this is the Lord saying be prepared and what's coming amen and so we will do that we will be prepared and we will not hoard our word or hoard our works or hoard our foods and monies and strategies as we move forward so the food word that the lord had me take a look at is revelations 22 19 and if any man shall take away from the words of this book of this prophecy god shall take away his part out of the book of life y'all and out of this holy city and from the things which are written in this book and we want to be in compliance because the lord have written a plan for each of us he's given a destiny plan for each of us and you want to sit down and ask what is our strategy what is my family's household strategy to get us through the famine how are we to feast in the famine because we're called to be feasters even when it's famine as Joseph did with his family they feasted they didn't um, suffer they planned accordingly there was a strategy there and so you want to call forth and say father God what is my Joseph's plan what is my Joseph's strategy to get through this famine that's coming to get through this plague of sicknesses that are coming father because we know that you're a good father and help us prepare but you also protect us and we thank you, Abba, in this hour for doing so in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yes. And so the focus scripture for October is Ruth 4, 7 in the KJV. And it says, now this was the manner in former time in Israel concerning redeeming and concerning changing for to confirm all things. A man plucked off his shoe and gave it to his neighbor. And this was a testimony in Israel. Hallelujah. And so Hebrews 69, 65 means to confirm all things. God said, every promise, every promise I've given to you is about to come to pass. Every secret place, whisper, dream, vision, and utterance that sent through and came through my mouthpieces of my prophets and apostles and teachers concerning redeeming and concerning changing as a confirmation of all things written in my book of remembrance it shall be testimony in you child of Israel y'all when he said that I was a, I, I, I got emotional in that window and so God said you pluck off your shoe when it's too tight and it's not the right fit or it's a too big of a fit it becomes burdensome and wearisome and causing when you outgrow it you give it away which is what happened in the case of Ruth when the re original redeemer um, said that he couldn't redeem her because it wasn't a good fit he would then misplace his inheritance he would displace his inheritance and so God said in this season hallelujah in this season there is a, a a change coming a change that is coming a change of assignment and so so hebrew 80 25 brought forth the word of grow up god said some of your assigned kingdom spouses have yet to grow up though they can now see your value they reluctantly pass on redeeming you into position as a partner they now realize they are the delay they are the matter of not changing they are the matter but I will not hold you any longer. I will change your assigned partner to stand beside you. For my word must come to completion. It shall never return to me void. The matter must be settled this day. Hallelujah. Rest cannot come until change comes to change your name, y'all. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord gave a very strong word right there. And I'm going to read it. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say that word again because... For many of you, you have been waiting for your kingdom spouse to come forth. And God said in this hour that some of your assigned kingdom spouses have yet to grow up, though they can see now your value because he opened their eyes. He clarified for them. He gave them an understanding of who you are and your power in the spirit and what you're called to manifest in the physical. And so they reluctantly passed on redeeming you into position as a partner because they didn't feel it was a good fit because they didn't see how it matched together but that short-sightedness is causing them to miss on a opportunity to walk in in a a power play that the lord had 
design. Our Father is a God who knows how to maneuver through pivots. When we don't comply and we don't do the things we're called to do, He will move forward as we know that He will give our blessings and our anointings to other people when we don't step forward to receive them and accept them and own them and take dominionship of them. Amen. And so God said, I will change your assigned partner to stand beside you for my word must come to completion and it must never come back to me void for the matter must be settled this day and we know in this in the story of ruth and boaz that naomi told ruth don't worry it's gonna come to pass because he will not rest he will not rest until the matter has been settled and so the very next day boaz got up got up off of the the threshing floor and went into the into the gate to have the word with the community about redeeming her and so god said in this hour and in this season that in the month of october you're seeing rolling miracles because he is changing the assignment he's changing the assignment for many of you and so isaiah 62 4 says thou shall no more be termed forsaken neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate but thy shall be called hepzibah and thy land called beulah hallelujah for the lord delighted in thee and thy shall be married in the mighty name of jesus father we thank you for the word that says that we are in position and that we are ready and that you are reassigning you're reassigning a fit that would be a better fit for us in the long run father one who could stand beside us and do the work that you have prepared us to do hallelujah we know that our father is a good father and that he would not forsake us and that he has called forth hepzibah as the name the mouthpiece of the lord has called forth hepzibah in the name of jesus so for those of you that is a confirmation for many of you as i call it forth as a mouth peace of the Lord, that the Lord is saying that you are Hepzibah and that you are to have land called Beulah and that you are to be married in the mighty name of Jesus. And so then as I looked at the the thought of the 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 changing the word changing that's hebrews 85 45 and that means to recompense a restitution and exchange y'all so he said he's going to exchange your partner and then a bartering and a compensation and so we know that that was a bartering a negotiation so there is a negotiation for marriage in the spirit there is a negotiation to exchange you and the lord have um have sought to go ahead and do that because many of you have prayed lord i, I i'm waiting for a partner that may not come where is he or where is she i'm willing to take another partner because i trust you lord i trust that you're going to give me the partner that will be best suited for my ministry but best suited for my life and what i've asked for and what you have promise me that will come to pass and this month of october the lord says this is a rolling miracle rolling miracles a change the changes that will make everything shift so all things will be shifting because of it and so as we enter a new year today happy new year in the spirit happy new year a new year starts um, on this third day a change is coming a change of the guard to allow my servants who have served without blemish to rest and receive in jesus mighty name hallelujah and for those of you who are called to retire to not mar their inheritance in the season the lord and this is the second word that comes from the rolling change the miracles coming forth the lord god is saying that many elders will pluck off their shoe of walking the front ranks to give way for a neighbor to walk righteously with their feet shotted with peace and bringing my sword forth and bringing my sword forth so many testimonies in israel of retirements will come this month of october as a change of guard in old leaderships across churches across the globe across various places and we're seeing we have been seeing this a lot of it has come out of a shakeout a shakedown a shuffling a shifting of of the lord going into into his house and cleaning because we know that the word says that he will not change the world until he has cleaned house his own house well some of those that cleaning doesn't mean that it, it's something wrong has happened a lot of it is a retirement of those who have served and served and served and served and served because we were not ready but as we stand in readiness because the lord is saying that miracles of change rolling change is coming and then the rest of the word that i received it started to make sense to me because he gave this to me on the first but told me to hold it to confirm all things shared by many active leaders my new kingdom plan is ready to change guard of the old operations y'all manifestations of new deliverance mechanisms new baptism mechanisms and new transformation patterns will emerge god said 
God said that my supernatural signs are coming as windows of opportunity, windows of divine appointment, windows of um, where you are coming across new divine partners. And I am ever the same. I am ever consistently the same. My word is the same, God said. And my word and supernatural sign of my angel in the framing of the window uh, that I called forth back in September. I showed you guys a video of, of a, a supernatural sign of a window of a box with an angel in it in the in the spirit that was a window. So it's not necessarily just closed doors because as our God, he creates in different ways. He brings forth manifestations in different ways. And so we are to look at windows of opportunity. So that's a longer amount of, of visibility, not just a snapshot of a door opening and closing, but a little longer viewpoint um, because when you look through a window you have a little longer time to view and perceive what is coming in Jesus mighty name um, that witness is now starting to reveal itself because the Lord says in a new year this new year is a new kingdom that new kingdom and so a change is coming many will agree many will flee God said and many will sleep a change is coming hallelujah oh that was so powerful when he said that God said many will agree many will flee many will sleep and a change is coming and so exodus 40 17 was the scripture that he led me to and it says and it came to pass in the first month in the second year of the first day of the month so in this new year that's october 1 that the tabernacle was reared up reared up and so reared is the same reared that came out of the the, the word for Ruth 4 7 is and that's Hebrews 69 65 and in in this situation in Exodus 40 17 it says to rise to abide and to accomplish it means to confirm a decreance um, to uh, to enjoin it so the enemy um, is trying to enjoin or come in and stop things and so God said you must prophesy daily to block the interference you've got to prophesy you've got to get up and you've got to make a, a fast movement every day to ordain and to perform and to rise in your position hallelujah because you want it to be set and established that you are the dominion keeper for the territory that he's assigning you are the dominion keeper for all that he has given you power and authority to do god said prophesy to raise up daily you must decree and declare and bless and god said change is coming change is coming and so we if we look at Moses in Exodus 7 this was a power up and so I want to go with you a few steps that the Lord gave me daily you must declare decree blocking the in enemy interfering you must be in a power place to maintain ordained decisions perform and maintain a rise up you must establish your stance and strengthen yourself to succeed they are depending on you god said on how this fit into context of this new kingdom and this new season and so as god provides a power up of miracles a rolling cascade of miracles upon you you'll have a first exhibiting and many of you have had this first exhibiting and so we'll first see that god calls you then you're chosen by god then you're instructed and trained by god then you become anointed by god yes and then there's a physical visible aid so he gave moses a rod some of you it's oil some of you it's a laying of hands and then or a power surge because so some of you lay hands and some of you can walk just you'll be able to walk by people and just your presence in the space will flow his power out of you hallelujah and then the eighth thing is what um, is what he's saying in this season. Many of you have witnessed these signs in small batches, but there's an appointment set for you as you are being sent by God because everything changes in this month. A new beginning, your first public appointment, a set by God appointment to display his presence in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Yes, y'all, the power, like I feel that I feel all that's running through me. And so as I looked in this window at this time, I, I'd gone to an event last night and they um, spoke on uh, Romans 838 and the manifestation of God's power being revealed and witness is the scripture that was shared and the Lord um, brought that to my attention as I look as we look at this because we know that he has a plan for us we know that he has a purpose for us and that power includes um, includes a hope and a future along with it right and so let's shift our focus because then the Lord said on 10 to 24 God said harvest to the table into the field of the church harvest to table into the field 
of his church. And so I was taking an Uber headed to this event that I went to that I'm going to share about in just a moment. And so this was around 4.50 last night. And that means God knowing. God is knowing. Literally and spiritually, you will raise and stand up again. You will raise again in the name of Jesus. And so then the other part of this was I, I looked at the cost of what I shared in my Uber ride. And it was Hebrews 2287. That means to move in a circle, specifically to march in a sacred procession, a festival of movement to be giddy, to dance, y'all. The Lord is saying you should be dancing, hearing this. You should be dancing back and forth because that means that your power is in play and your power is ready and set to go. And so Nahum 115 was our scripture. It says, behold on the mountains, the feet of him who brings tidings, who proclaims peace, O Judah, keep your appointed feasts, Perform your vows, God said, for the wicked one shall no more pass through you. Hallelujah. He is utterly cut off. And I gave y'all a word that the Lord said that the enemy was cut off, right? That the counterfeit was cut off. In Jesus' name, this is your second confirmation of that word, y'all. Literally, and then when I saw it, I was like, yes, we need the enemy gone so we can do the work and not have to worry about what is there because people are needing to be healed, needing to be delivered, needing to be anointed, needing to be trained and brought into the Lord's works in this hour. And so if we don't do our work, then we're looking at Greek 2287, a death bearing that is fatal, that it is fatal when we don't stand and do what we are being called to do, right? And the Lord has, is moving the old guard out the way. We are the new guard, so we have to do that work in the name of Jesus. James 3, 8 says, but the tongue can no man tame. And it is unruly, evil, full of deadly poison. So we know that we have the power of the tongue to create life or to create death in what we say. And so when we speak into it with life and prophetic word, we raise ourselves up with power. But when we speak into it with prophetic word that does not give life and does not bring food, fruit, then we are killing not only our own power, but those who need the word to receive from it. And so I was riding with this Uber driver and um, he has shared that he'd recently gone to a church called The Table. And so then he was like, yeah, and on Sunday I'm going to a, a church called In The Field. And th they're both here in the Metroplex of Dallas. And so as I as I was sitting in that, I was like, Lord, ooh, that's a word right there. And then the Lord literally started giving me a word to share with him. And so God said, The Table is ready with your seat and name place set. And you are officially stuffed with my meat. It is time to go to work into the field to fall harvest. Yes, go to work. And so as you leave the table to go into the field, glean from your teachers and the supernatural powers of healing and word of knowledge and deliverance ministries. Harvest within your assigned peers. Harvest souls for my glory. Use your assigned gifts everywhere. No holding back. In the name of Jesus, the Father said that you are ready to come from the table. Your place setting is there and you have eaten all that you need to eat and now it is time for you to go into the into the field and work it's time to bring in a harvest of souls y'all and so I, as i was um taking the uber back um coming coming home the lord put me in the car with john yes hallelujah but john is a 74 year old believer and he has been discipling people through his uber ministry hallelujah and so god in this moment gave me the the understanding that even as I was sitting um, in a word, sitting at the service, the Lord has said at using um, evangelist pastor Shuttleworth, Jonathan Shuttleworth is where I was at an event um, at Revival Today's Church. God said, age has no factor in your assignment. And that's what Pastor um, Shuttleworth was saying is that you could be 80. I, I know people who are 80 who are still prophesying words, still healing and anointing people. And he gave a witness testimony of that, that e exact fact. And so God said through him, he was using him. He said, if you are breathing his word of life, if you are called and chosen and available as a vessel, he will activate you this season, y'all, because it is harvest and he cannot miss ripe and ready harvest. Hallelujah. And so as I took this um, this uh, Uber ride back home, it was around 1120. And that means heights to be high in elevation, a high wave of placement. And so God said that in this season, you have been elevated to a high place and there is a wave of souls that need to be harvested, a wave that is coming forth that you must stand firm in and know that your powers are ready and know that he has put you in a place with a new season of 
of um, prophetic teachers who can guide you in the experiential learning, in the immediate, in the live learning. So no more at the table and behind the YouTube and all of that. It's like harvest is out and ready in front of people in live motion, right? And some of you will have a ministry that is specifically through the YouTube plat platform. But when you go out and about and talk to people, you'll use that same anointing because we are called to trim our wick and keep it, keep our oil burning so the Lord can ever flow into us. Then we'll have those in-person experiences. Hallelujah. And so Habakkuk 319 I want to declare over you hallelujah I declare and decree that the sovereign Lord is my strength he makes my feet like the feet of deer he enables me to tread on the heights in the mighty name of Jesus we declare and decree we will tread on heights we will tread on the waves of the souls that need to be saved we will tread with power of the Holy Spirit we will tread in the anointing that the Father have given us have fed to us have given to us as meat to feed those hungry souls that need him who are starving for his light who are starving for his healing starving for his deliverances and his anointings because when you become consistent in the spirit with your own works then you then have the power and authority to anoint others as the lord calls you fit to do so hallelujah and so greek eleven twenty says fall on the knee bow down on your knees yes in the name of jesus that means you right now if you're listening you are ordained in anointed in the power to bring forth the word of the lord i call and declare and decree i anoint you today to give the word of god to bring forth healings to bring deliverance to the sight of the blind and to heal those who need to be healed of demonic depression read your luke 4 18 as i mentioned to you that is your seating those seven things are all things that you are i declare and decree anointed to bring forth and that the power of god and the holy spirit are upon you to do that work in jesus mighty name y'all amen and if you receive that prayer, take it into the spirit and receive that prayer that the Lord will bring it forth to you. And when you go into a live scenario, a live situation, the Lord can bring forth a hands on anointing with you. If you feel you need your head anointed with oil, then ask him to do that. And he will send you promptly to someone in the physical. But know that the word, the word is what creates the power. And I have delivered it to you in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Know that it is there for you in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah and so then as I uh, as I read through that the scripture for it was Matthew 17 14 because the God because the God I serve he already knew he already knew some of you are sitting here like uh, I don't know about that and so when they came to the crowd and a man approached Jesus and he knelt before him he knelt before him for that, that healing of anointing. The rest is where Jesus healed the possessed boy. And so the man brought forth his child and said, your disciples couldn't heal him. Please help my son, please. And so God said that you are un unbelieving. You're such a perverse generation. So for those of you who turned your eyebrow up at me, know that the Lord said you are being disobedient so immediately repent of your sins repent of your sins because jesus has replied how long shall i stay with you and how long shall i put up with you bring those who need healing and let me do the work it's not for you to heal you are the vessel i am the power god said hallelujah because then in private after he'd casted out the demon and healed the child which many of you are going to do in jesus mighty name for those who believe god said because those of you you don't believe then ye of little faith all you need is a mustard seed you can move this mountain that word says with the mustard seed but if you are looking at it in the kjv it will show to you that um, this kind here requires prayer and fasting and this is why we've been doing all this praying and fasting to build up our capacity in the spirit to have power to build up our capacity in the spirit to have discerning of power to know who needs to be healed so we can know who needs to be delivered to know who needs to be anointed but this kind here requires prayer and fasting in the mighty name of Jesus. The father said in this hour that there is nothing that you can't do when you are in the spirit, in power, through his consecration and anointing that he will flow through you like a just a, a vessel. Just let his oil pour in you and it's just going to overflow. It's going to overflow because that change is a rolling change. So that oil is going to roll into you and out of you, into you and out of you, into you and out of you, as long as you stay in position there is nothing impossible for you says God's word yes and that's Matthew 17 21 
Then God, as he brought that forth, God said, rolling miracles change everything. And that means your powers. That means marriage. That means assigned partnerships. That also means a feasting and famine. Hallelujah. God said a change is coming, a rolling change, y'all. And as we look through that, it's a harvest to the table from the field. Oh, yes. God said it's time to go to work in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. And that brings us through that brings us through this this word that brings us through this word, because as the Lord brought forth my time in the in the spirit at this event with um, Pastor Evangelist Jonathan Shuttlesworth and then Apostle um, Dr. Uh, Iniche out of uh, Abuja, um, Nigeria, he and his wife, Dr. Uh, Becky was there. They came in y'all and their flight was late getting in. They were held at customs, but Lord God, when you are anointed and you are a willing vessel and you're open in the spirit as he and his wife were, they walked in with literally a, a fraction of the time that had originally been allotted to them, y'all. They went from having hours of communication time to literally under 30 minutes of time. And he literally brought forth the power. Holy Spirit showed up in such a powerful way. We, I saw no less than 10, maybe 20. It, it, it was such a rapid anointing that came through and he laid hands on people and he healed people. Had a lady who came in with hearing aids, walked out with them in her hand, hearing fully, being able to speak and talk and give the word and laugh and, and got anointed in the, in the process. So he not only healed them, he then anointed them with power. He gave a healing, a deliverance, and then he gave power, y'all, because when you are in full capacity used by the Holy Spirit, my God, I feel that so strong. I feel that Holy Spirit. I feel that when we give ourselves that power, uh, that, that, that willingness of surrender to receive the power, then the Lord will use us in a full capacity. And that's what we saw last night with, with Dr. Nietzsche. He played a beautiful, a beautiful playing of his instrument um, to give us not only spoken word, but he gave us a, 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 a worship in song. Um, he gave us a, a worship of anointing. He literally poured out his vessel. So emptied out his vessel for us in just a matter of moments. And it was a wave. It literally was a showing forth of how the wave will look in Jesus mighty name. I will link it below so that you can see it. It's such a powerful word. And so in 10 2, God said, harvest to table into the field, y'all. Harvest to table. So that's us coming to the table. He has harvested us to the table. And now we have fed and have received in the fullest capacity. And we are called to go into the field to glean, to do the work, to be the investment of the Lord, to go into the field and become investments for the Lord to harvest more souls in Jesus mighty name. That is our word for 10 2. The word that I got today for 10 3, God said, prophesy it. Yes, prophesy it. So we must prophesy the changes that are coming. And so this word came to me at 10 39 a.m. as I heard the song and the lyrics of, and I can't let go. I got a thing for you and I can't let go I just came to let you know I got a thing for you and I can't let go yes that word came to me and so as I look at Hebrews um, 139 for the time frame that means a a, a um, which comes from the Greek word of one 138 it properly means a choice specifically a party a disunion and so first corinthians eleven nineteen says for there must also be factions among you that those who are proved may be recognized among you so the lord is saying there's going to be a separation of you coming out of the off the, the harvest table out of the from the table that you will be separated out because he can't let you go to waste. He's not going to let you go to waste as an investment of time. Yes. And so our Greek of 139 means Lord of justice, Lord of justice. Um, as we looked at that, that role, literally the clock changed right on top of me. As I was looking at the, I picked up my phone, it was 139 and it changed to 140. And so 140 means the Lord of rising. Lord of rising, so that is high. That means he's high. And then your Greek 140 means to make a choice, a chosen one, choice. Matthew 12, 18 says, Behold, my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom my soul is well pleased, I will, I will put my spirit upon him and he will declare justice to the Gentiles. In Jesus' mighty name, y'all. 
I was so on fire, literally trying to keep quiet and not wake up, wake up people around me, right? And so Dr. Paul and Nietzsche enthroned God last night with his word. Um, last night he shared with us that if you want to create anything to be in existence, you must go back to your origin, back to the origin, your beginning as your reference point. And so he used Genesis 1, 26 through 28. And so God says, you are teaching healing giving prophetic word you are laying hands on people you are educating people and so this is a multi word for many people and so whatever your spiritual gift is that the Lord has said that you're bringing forth know that you have to go back to your origin back to that very first anointing that the Lord gave you and and, and re understand and prophesy it back into action prophesy it because he has oiled you he's giving you the anointing um, to activate but you've got to prophesy it out so we must prophesy it on this day in the mighty name of Jesus. And then um, as I looked at that, it, it went right in word with what Pastor Jonathan Shuttlesworth, Evangelist Shuttlesworth gave us as we waited for Dr. Nietzsche to arrive from the airport, right? And he gave us a word that really stirred the fire, stirred the fire, y'all, stirred the fire so strong with Colossians 3, 2. It says, set your mind on things above to prophesy over the nation, to prophesy over the lands, to prophesy over the life you have in waiting a life you have in waiting right meaning we need to prophesy it forth so we can receive it in the name of jesus and so that came to me as that word was being shared it was around 1102 when that came across and so god said we will ramp up your teaching and healing and your deliverance ministries and your um your evangelist ministries and your prophetic um, uh, apostleships he is going to ramp you up he will ramp you up so that you can rebalance your scale your scale of justice and so pastor talked about that about he gave a story about someone who uh, was witnessing and and, and but her uh, prophetic gift was higher than her praise gift and so meaning the scale was unbalanced and so the lord is saying you got to praise and and do your and do your anointing work in equal flow so that your oil flows equally and i talked about that um just a few days ago about trimming your wick to know what your oil level was at and so the only way to do this is to burn the oil in the lesser used areas and so that whatever your weakest point of your spiritual gifts are you have to go back to the origin to know what he gave you and what you're to be using you want to expect showings of miracles rolling through you in those areas because the lord is going to use you to activate them he's going to use you to level them off he's going to use them to make sure that you're bringing forth justice to his power justice to his witnessing justice to you glorifying him in jesus mighty name as we bring justice to those who need to be delivered out of sin out of shame out of darkness out of reproach y'all in the mighty name of jesus hebrews 1102 means to muzzle to be held in and so psalms 32 9 was that scripture it says do not be like the horse or like the mule which have no understanding which may be harnessed must be harnessed with a bit and a bridle else they will not come near you hallelujah i need y'all to feel that because that means that if you are quiet your powers can't be used. People are not going to be drawn to you. They're drawn to your light and your oil. It's not even you. It's not your look. It's not what you bring. It's, what, it's not what you share. It's what you bring forth. The power of God, the light of God must be in balance so that they can be drawn to you because he's sending specific people to you. Know that it's not random encounters. There's nothing random about our father. He's very intentional. He has a plan, a written out plan for you and your powers. And so you have to know that he is intentional about bringing those things forth. And so let us prophesy it. In the name of Jesus, I declare and decree that all powers and anointings that the Lord have given us originally shall be activated in this hour. I command them to be activated in the name of Jesus. I command them to be in flow in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that your intentional encounters, your intentional appointments will start to roll in in a wave, in a wave, in a wave so that the Lord's showing can be miraculous miraculous that the Lord showing can be a witness for all including you in Jesus mighty name I did that I declare and decree that we receive the power and the anointing that the Lord has given us and that we will walk with power we will walk with grace we will walk with mercy and we will walk with compassion and being healers and teachers and evangelists and pastors and apostles and all things that the Lord have designed and called us to be in this season hallelujah because the Lord God says rolling miracles changes everything and that change as we saw in Ruth 4 7 that change when he handed over that shoe 
too. It changed her trajectory. It changed Boaz's trajectory. It opened up a whole nother lifestyle for them. Hallelujah. A whole nother lifestyle is waiting for you in this hour. And the Lord is saying that it is time that that shoe comes off, that wrong fitting shoe, that shoe that won't allow you to receive your full inheritance and that has been kept from you. Hallelujah. That the enemy can fit it. He can't even redeem it. In Jesus' mighty name, he's just holding it. Two tight shoes. And ladies, we know what two tight shoes do for us, right? Yes, bad feet, bad experience, just bad times altogether. And that we know that the enemy is bad. We know that his experience is bad. Hallelujah. And that the Lord is saying that he has changed the guard. He's changed forth those in leadership because he's wanting you to take center stage. He's wanting you to be in the light. He's wanting you to stand as a witness in power in this season and that we must be available we must be available with our wicks trimmed with our anointings balanced with our powers flowing because god said rolling miracles for october changes everything god said that's your powers god said that's your marriages god said that's your assigned partnerships god said that's feasting and famine hallelujah god said a change is coming a rolling change of miracles is coming as we harvest from the table into the field y'all yes god also said it's time to go to work it is time oh thank you heavenly father be glorified be witnessed and magnified you get all the credit lord god lord god you get all the glory jesus you get all the praise holy spirit have your way and you have had it in some lord god i witness and and lift you up all at the same time y'all i'm trying not to throw this phone <laughs> i'm trying to hold this phone as steady as i can and I've literally almost stood up 12 times to run in a circle. And so I declare and decree and command it through this ministry, through our lives and forevermore that God be witnessed and glorified in us. Hallelujah. Yes. Now God said, go supernaturally operate, live and witness in Jesus mighty name for his glory. Y'all thank you. Holy spirit. Oh, thank you. Holy father. Be sure to like, share and subscribe, hit the bell, do an offering. If it's your soul led to do so in the mighty name of Jesus and know that I will bring back a new word as soon as the Lord have brought it forth to me in this hour we are in set motion for october hallelujah it is finished lord i got it out in jesus name amen i'm so so uh, i'm so excited about just the the season that the lord has put us in because in this when we receive this anointing and we follow through how the Lord will um, will walk us through our first witnessing and our first exhibiting of power, then know that the Lord is with you and he's keeping you. He's protecting you. He's guiding and leading you in Jesus mighty name. Y'all, we have worked so hard and we have um, sacrificed so much that the Lord is ready. He said we are fed, we're prepared and he will not uh, uh, lead us astray, obviously, but he will lead us with people who can hold our hands for that those first few exhibiting so that they're there is proof and evidence of your value in the kingdom in Jesus mighty name God said October October is miracles rolling a change of everything rolling miracles change everything God said miracles rolling rolling miracles changes everything in Jesus mighty name now, be sure to take this into the spirit and pray that this is your season to come forth in that way to come from the table and go into the field to harvest souls. Make sure that you ask the Lord, what portion is mine? Where am I in this? If I, if you're not resonating with the whole word, know that the Lord will have something for you because he's not one to leave any of his children out. Everyone that is doing the work receives of the portion of miracles in the name of Jesus in some capacity. Hallelujah. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell. So a seed, if you're so inclined to do so, know that the Lord is still asking for us in our contribution that we committed to give a thousand dollars forth for this house for land property ownership that is rolling into October. And so we want to bring forth the commitment. We thank you um, for the the um, soul, the vessel that contributed in, into his um, into his monies. We are eight hundred dollars short. So we need to move forward. Make sure that you give forth for your property land ownership, even if it's just a little bit. $25 will get you land property ownership. I can't tell you how much of a land property ownership, but our father is a father of multifold. He's not one to give you dollar for dollar match. He never has been. His word says in Malachi 3.10 that he will overflow. He will open up that window that we saw that angel in and pour out blessing on blessing on blessing in Jesus mighty name. So contribute so that you're not stuck out, whether it be a personal home that you're looking for or a second property for 
to give you some residual income as we go into this famine many of you are needing residual income um, for all kinds of reasons and this is a way that the Lord will bless you in that way pray into it and then sow your seed with happiness sow your seed with joy because the Lord loves a cheerful giver as the word says and know that he will take care of all of your needs in this hour in Jesus mighty name amen Oh, my father, he packed it in, y'all. It was so well worth the wait of the three days in Jesus' name as this is a new beginning because the third day always brings forth a risen Lord in surrender and in Christ in celebration and victory, y'all, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, God said go supernaturally operate, live, and witness in Jesus' name for God's glory, y'all. Bye.